Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I just got ready for the day. I curled my hair even though tomorrow finally I'm getting my hair done. You guys have no idea how excited I am to go blonde. I am not even a blonde at this point. I mean I know I have like blonde like ends but look at the growth of my roots. I don't think I ever waited this long. Like I know, like, I think it was, how many months ago was it that I got my hair done? But I, we didn't touch the top section whatsoever. We just did the bottom section. And I cannot tell you guys how excited I am about going, like, fully blonde even on top. Like, my bottoms have a lot of, like, blondes closer to my roots. But tomorrow we're gonna get all of this top layer done. And she's gonna also touch up, like, the bottom section um smooth it out a little bit and by smoothing out i mean blending it out a lot better i uh very badly messed up my haircut um so i'm forced to wear it a little bit curly until it grows a little bit um so i can go and get a haircut so yeah this is the hair we're gonna be rocking um i did my makeup and i actually got inspired by a makeup artist that i found this is not similar to her makeup but like few keys of it um, I was inspired by her. I'm gonna post her Instagram here for you guys. Um, she is a French makeup artist or she's a makeup artist that lives in France. I'm not sure to be honest with you guys, but she's a celebrity makeup artist. And yesterday I randomly came across one of her videos and on YouTube and I absolutely loved, loved, loved the way that she did her makeup. And I tried to use few of her makeup tricks today when I was getting ready. Um, and one of the things was, I think I'll do a separate video on like an updated makeup routine. Uh, currently I need to practice practice it a little practice it a little oh my god i can't talk practice it a little bit um because it has like a little eye eyeliner technique they're not difficult by any means but there are things that i am not good at doing so i need to practice few of her techniques at least a couple of times so then i can teach you guys um but one of the techniques um was that she used a um bronzy liquid eyeshadow on her eye and she blended it out i didn't have any so i used my urban decay lip um, stick literally this is lipstick this is not eyeshadow how amazing is that <laughs> like i don't know why am i so impressed by it this is urban decay um lipstick in once once strangers i'm literally blind uh but these are the lipsticks that you shake them and then um they are like a liquid lipstick but they have a shiny finish to them and this one is very very dark but for some odd reason i always kept it in my collection and today that came in handy and i just used it on my eye it blended beautifully i didn't even put like shadow on top of it i didn't have any honestly shadow that was this color i have other colors of this that i don't use on my lips um maybe we can use them and repurpose them as an eyeshadow uh, but yeah I'm really liking how my makeup turned out. I don't know if it's visible on the camera that I have done it a little bit differently. Differently, I was talking to my cousin. I was like, do I look any different? She's like, no. Like, you always look beautiful. I was like, thank you. Like, that warms my heart. But like, I tried to do something different. She was like, you're a little bit more enhanced. I was like, that's exactly what I was going for. I'm a little bit more enhanced. I don't know if it's visible on the camera or not. But as soon as I got this technique... A little more perfected then i'll show you guys how i do it um but yeah that is that the second thing i wanted to talk to you guys about we have a little bit of a beauty uh, kind of a chat um so i received this lancome serum in pr it was like a week 10 days ago and i didn't think anything of it because um we are if you're being very honest i don't use a lot of skincare anymore i tend to stick to my basics i've talked about this many many times i like my basics because last year my skin like at the beginning of the year my skin went through it and it was very very difficult to come back to a semi-normal looking skin and i stay away from skincare products that are foreign to me as much as i can 
Um, so when I received this in a PR, I didn't think anything of it and it was just in a box until I came across a girl on TikTok who basically was saying how her skin looks um, within, I think she said, three months of use of this. So my Botox have wore off. Like, I can move my forehead, you guys can see lines, like my eyes are droopy um i mean i always had uh, droopy eyes but like with the help of botox we make them a little bit um pulled back and a little bit more like elongated um but my botox has wore off pretty much i got it last year maybe may if i'm not mistaken i think either april or may so it has been almost a year um and the girl in the video she was talking about how she's been using this and her lines are gone then i not gone 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 but they're like reduced by like 50 to 60 percent i mean that sounds magical so i started using this i've been using it for five days now i can't tell that it helped my wrinkles but it helped a lot with the texture of my skin my sisters never compliment me on my skin but yesterday they're like oh your skin looks really good it looks smooth five days five days i've been using it i use a pump in the morning i use a pump at night um right before my moisturizer and it has been magical as soon as i'm applying this i can feel my skin is being nourished it's such a like hydrating product um it's what it's called is a youth activating concentrate and I didn't want to like it to be honest with you guys because this big jar is pretty expensive but so far i'm really really liking it i'll do an update um, for you guys in the near future i'm not planning on getting botox anytime soon at least not until maybe june july we'll see we will see i say this stuff and then i go get it and you guys hold me accountable i don't know it's not in the plans in the next like month um so i'll give this a try and we will do like a test run of it to see how much it will help me with my uh wrinkles pretty much now that my botox is gone uh, but yeah i just want to tell you guys about this because so far i've been really really enjoying using this and then we have this this is not a beauty product but i'm just getting ready and i was gonna put like a necklace on then i remembered i received a, a package from um abbott leon i really really like this brand if you guys remember during december i did a campaign with them and um they're not sponsoring this youtube video or anything i'm working on them over on instagram um but i received a package from them that i have not yet opened it is supposed to be a necklace so let's open it up first of all i absolutely love their packaging how cute is this and like everything is individually packed like I know packaging is not as important as the actual product, but I love the experience of opening a package. Oh, how beautiful. This is the chain of the necklace and it's supposed to have a charm. How beautiful is this? It has like little um, gold balls on it. And probably the, uh, yeah, it's here. Here is the charm. I went with the letter B, lowercase b. I just wanted something very, very simple um, with this chain. Is it the correct side? Uh, let's see. Yeah. But here it is. It's a very, very dainty necklace. Um, and I really, really like it, especially for summer. I'm very into like dainty layering necklaces and i really really like this the chain of it like you can just take the charm out and wear um the what do you call it the chain on its own because it already has the balls on it so it's super cute why is this getting tangled there we go so yeah i mean this sweater is a little bit too chunky for this necklace but i really really like it i can imagine like entire summer i'll be probably wearing this with a um, lot of white um, tops and dresses now that we are ready for the day i have a few bits and bobs from h&m i know you guys are probably tired of me doing h&m hauls but i ordered a few things i think maybe like five six items not more than that um i just received them one of the packages actually hasn't arrived it says it's out for delivery for today 
hopefully while i'm showing you guys the first package the second package will arrive as well if not then i'll show you guys that one tomorrow so here is outfit of the day starting with this necklace that i just showed it to you guys i have a discount code i'll write it on the screen in case you're into it they have so many beautiful pieces that i'm a huge fan of my favorite watch is actually from them as well um i really really like this watch i get so many compliments on it so i will write the discount code for you guys on the screen and then we have my Zara sweater that is an absolute staple in my wardrobe then Chanel belt and I'm wearing my H&M flowy uh, black skirt that is just so comfortable here is the outfit of the day it is absolutely not like me to receive an H&M package and not open it this package has been sitting here for probably like three days it's just I was waiting for the second one because as I mentioned the second one has a little bit of a more of the exciting items in it um, but yeah that one was being delayed but let me quickly get them out of their plastic bag so the noise doesn't drive all of us crazy so the first item that I have is this uh, basically the white t-shirt but with a little bit of a spice on the sleeves I'm a huge fan of um, like sleeve detail especially puff sleeve because uh, they just elevate a simple look you can wear there's so many different ways you can wear it with jeans you can wear it with pants with skirts um, it's just your basic t-shirt but with a little bit of a spice on the sleeves and I really really like the design of the sleeve it's just so beautiful and elevated uh, this seems very very see-through even online I went with the size large thinking like I don't want it to be too snug I want it to be a little bit of a relaxed fit um, so I'll just try it on and see how it will sit on me. I really, really hope that it's not going to be too see-through because we don't want that for like spring and summer. To be honest with you guys, I am not crazy about it because it's very, very see-through. Like I don't know if the camera is picking up on it, but you can see my skin through it. Even though I really, really like the design of it and I got it for super inexpensive, but I don't think I'll get the wear out of it because of how see-through it is i'm wearing my uh, one of my sleeves seamless one of my seamless bras so it doesn't show but if you wear anything else like if you were to wear like a lace bra underneath it would show um yeah i don't know i really really like it because it takes a very simple t-shirt and makes it a little bit like of a dressy kind of a vibe and it's a kind of product that you can wear it with so many different items like even with this skirt and this belt it looks really really cute um, but I don't know if I can close my eyes on the fact that it is extremely citro it looks very cute with a gold necklace as well you know what I need to get my sister's opinion on this so uh will let you know if i'm keeping this or i'm returning it i've mentioned h&m ribbed tops many many times like literally during fall i mentioned them during spring and summer i mentioned them because they do it so well i really really like them um i couldn't pass up on this white one i just thought during spring this would be really 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 good especially that this is not like heavy ribbed it's pretty lightweight and it was pretty long which is what i liked the most about it it was not like a crop top um i got it in a size medium and maybe i got it um in a smaller size that i was supposed to because this seems pretty small but they're stretchy but i don't want it to be like too snug and uncomfortable so i'll try this on and see if it will fit me nicely i really really like the neckline it's so chic and sophisticated um this will look great again with pants jeans skirt you can dress it up you can dress it down they're just like really really cute tops and i absolutely love the neckline of it they look sexy but very very classy absolutely love 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 it let's just tuck in this lace bits um just keep in mind that this section oh my god why can't i tuck this in i always cut them like if i decide to keep an item i'll cut them immediately um but yeah this top i absolutely love 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 it just keep it in mind that this section goes pretty far back so you have to wear like a slap strapless bra with it if not if you show i personally find that very sexy and very cute so i don't have any problem with it but i'm just letting you guys know 
I absolutely love it. The size of it works perfectly. It's just the fabric of it is pretty thin. And like my bra ends here so you guys can see a line. So I feel like I should change my bra and wear something that will come a little bit higher. Uh, but overall, I absolutely love, love, love this top. It's such a beautiful one. And not only during spring you can get a wear out of it. I think of this as a layering piece when it comes to summer nights. Like, I don't know, if you're traveling, you're going somewhere that can be a little bit um, cold, you can wear this as a over the shoulder kind of a vibe as well. I'm sure you all remember this top because I didn't shut up about this top. I've been talking about it like literally non-stop. This is the top that I got few vlogs ago in my, I think, last H&M haul or maybe the previous one. I do one too many of them recently. Um, literally no shame. I love H&M. You guys already know that. Um, but um, yeah, I showed this to you guys, but I got it in size extra large and it had like a little bit of puff uh, situation happening here. So I returned that and I got it in a size large. I really, really hope this fits me nicely because I already returned the extra large. And if this does not fit me nicely, I would literally cry. Um, this reminds me of uh, the Celine um, crop tops obviously these are below ten dollars and the like Celine ones are pretty expensive I'm a fan of stripes as you guys can tell uh, but I really really hope HNM will come out with the same thing but in beige and navy that would be golden as well this is the perfect fit it doesn't have that extra like poofy kind of a situation that the extra large one had it's the perfect length it's not too long it is not too um short let me show you guys how long it is i mean it is a crop top just keep that in mind but it is the perfect length for me i absolutely love 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 this tank top again i really really hope that they will come out with a beige and a navy version of it as well i'm a huge fan of h&m blazers and i have this exact same one but it is in a size medium um this is in a size extra large because i wanted a little bit of a more of an oversized kind of a look i generally don't know how is this going to look on me is it going to be like too oversized would it look like i'm wearing my dad's blazer or would it like sit nicely people who i see wear uh oversized blazer their shoulders are sitting in the right place it's just the oversizedness of it is around their like hip area or like it's a little bit longer so i'm gonna try this on and i'm really really hoping that it will give it that vibe i saw a blazer at zara that was very similar to what i was looking for but i am really 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 uh, holding myself back on shopping at Zara like really really um, they have beautiful pieces in but um, to be honest with you guys I don't want to shop from them as much as I can all of my dreams of um, oversized blazers have been crushed because this just doesn't look good the shoulders doesn't look good it just is not a vibe. Some people can rock this and they look absolutely amazing and fashionable. Unfortunately, I am not one of those people. So this is being returned because it just is not looking cute on me. One thing that has been missing in my wardrobe for a very, very long time is like a beige color blazer. So I got pretty much the same blazer that I showed you guys. I got it in beige. Um, this is an extra large as well in the hopes of that the oversized look would look cute the only thing is that these blazers even though they are super inexpensive they're very 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 hard to iron like no matter what steamer i use at home i can't iron them i always have to give them um for dry cleaning because the at-home products that i have never work uh with these products I'm not sure is it because they're cotton. I'm not sure what it is. Um, so just keep that in mind. Yes, they are inexpensive, but they're a little bit difficult to iron. Um, so let's just try this on and hope that this is not gonna look bad on me. Um, same thing with this. It just is not a vibe. Maybe the size large would have looked better, but extra large for sure is being returned because it just doesn't look good. I love the length of it. Love, love, love it. But unfortunately, like the shoulder section doesn't sit nicely. Like if it would, like I don't want to close it all the way to here for the shoulders to come up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think I have to continue my search for the perfect oversized blazers that is affordable because there are some blazers that are absolutely great quality, but they're like $400 and I'm not 
that invested in it to be honest with you guys to spend four hundred dollars so i want something a little bit more affordable here's just an idea i don't know if it's gonna work or not but i think i'm gonna look for a blazer dress maybe that will look a little bit more oversized and obviously it will have the length that i'm looking for that's just an idea that we can explore and i will obviously keep you guys updated on that uh but yeah this is being returned because it just is not a vibe my other order from h&m arrived and it is this three-piece matching separate which is a short sleeve blazer with gold buttons how cute is this it has a tank top underneath and this skirt so i bought the skirt and the tank top in two sizes because i was not sure i'm wearing the extra large skirt and it is a little bit big on this side but um the length of it is not bad i tried the large it is too short on me but it sits a little bit better on this area and the tank top is in a size large because the medium was too small and the um, jacket is in a size large as well i kind of really like it but i don't know if i like how it sits on me here just the overall idea of it i really really like uh, but i don't know if it sits right on me so i'll let you guys know if i decided to keep it or return it the sun is absolutely shining and my eyes are very very sensitive so we're gonna go in with the glasses please ignore if my glasses are dirty we already established that uh, these glasses are never gonna be clean but anyway good morning everyone i am on my way to my hair appointment that i am running uh, very very late um i still have to stop by a bank i still have to stop by a post office because by the time i leave anya's salon both of them will be closed and i have things that need to be done today um so yeah lovely 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 i mean i was supposed to go to anya at one o'clock uh but then she was like can you come at 12 30 i was like sure yeah i'm capable of doing that and then i just texted her like no actually i can't come at 12 30 is that okay she was like yeah don't worry about it i just want to take my time with your hair I'm also really, really hungry and I'm a little bit cranky. It has a, I had a very, very busy morning today. Um, I skipped my workout, which is one of the reasons that I'm cranky. I have been absolutely loving my morning workouts. I do 10K, 10 steps, 10K steps. Um, and then I do a 30 minutes or 15 minutes workout at home for upper body and then lower body. Uh, one day I alternate in between and I've been very, very, very consistent with my um, workout. And this morning I had to skip it because I really didn't have time. So I'm kind of cranky about it because I absolutely love my morning workouts. Don't let the sun fool you. It is freezing. It is a freezing. It's so cold that I'm wearing like one of my thickest jumpers that I have I don't think I've have ever let the top of my um, head to grow this long like I don't think I've ever had this much of a dark root uh, like if I put my hair in a bun you can't even see any kind of blonde um, so I'm very very excited to go very blonde we're gonna go very close to my roots um, which is very 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 exciting it's actually very exciting that you're using that because i I've, I've always wanted to give it a try but i've never did you're freaking like a bottle service <laughs> Anya's salon. You guys can't see my hair in this lighting, but I'll show you guys properly tomorrow. 
and the weather today is absolutely abnormal it was raining like there is no tomorrow a few minutes ago and now it is like sunny but um yeah the lighting is not the best um but i am absolutely loving my hair so i am gonna get my hair done in two months again um i already had that plan and this was like originally i was supposed to wait until um may to get my hair done sorry the camera moved completely because i just came to bakery to buy pastry because my other friend is coming over for coffee <laughs> but um let me park and my camera battery is flashing so we don't have that much time to chat but i wanted to quickly show you guys my hair um so as i mentioned i have an appointment in may like mid may um and i'm gonna add more highlights so basically what she did was she did a little bit of highlights today um so i can have the brightness back so i can have like my blondes back especially like framing my face and all of that and then in may we're gonna add a little bit more so when she was blow drying my hair i was like um you know in may i want a little bit more blonde she was like yes i know i just did it in a way so um i don't damage your hair so in may we can basically redo it she also used the color vow um what is it called that product is called um something coat dream coat if i'm not mistaken i'll write it on the screen i don't remember exactly that's magical that's really really magical i've been seeing so many people talking about it on instagram and tiktok and i didn't purchase it she swears by it and i personally really really liked it as well and we didn't touch my haircut she was like you need to let your hair grow if you don't want me to like touch the length so we're gonna let my hair grow anyway my battery is running out i'm gonna go inside get pastry and then go home and have a coffee session with my friend and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning good morning everyone it is the next day and i'm feeling fabulous with this hair to be honest with you guys i really really missed having like blonde pieces in the front i know it's a little bit spread it out right now if you look at it in the detail but comes may we're gonna make all of this blonde it just was too much to get it done now if i had to get my hair done again in may so for the time being i'm very very happy with it um every time that i get that i get my hair done is my camera zoomed in yes a little bit um every time that i get my um hair done anya has to put this like gray undertone uh, toner on my hair so it can like stain my hair so in the next two weeks when i wash it this grayness and like some areas you can even see purpliness will go away and it's gonna be a little bit more of a like a golden blonde which is my personal favorite um she did try to use the golden color toner previously on me and it looks great on the first and second day but then on like when i wash it um it just turns a little bit green on me and i'm just not a fan of that so i was like let's just go with the platinum toner and then i'll just wash it and then it will go to the golden blonde that i personally like um so that is the hair i curled it as well because the straight is just not a vibe like we're gonna be curling our hair for a while um and also i did my makeup i recorded just a quick get ready with me my blush looks very very strong in the viewfinder but i promise you guys in person it looks great i just recorded a video for, for my tiktok a very casual one and i used this um halo lip and cheek um sheer to stay color tint in the color blush i use it on my lips as well i mean my rosa is a little bit activated to be honest with you guys um but i'm looking very very pink i promise you guys in person it does not look like that pink it's a little bit more subtle but i really really like the makeup that i did it was just a very casual like everyday get ready with me like my everyday makeup basically uh, i'm gonna export it now and then start editing today overall is going to be a very heavy editing and like admin day um so with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you i just want to show you guys my hair um in a different lighting but i'm pretty sure you guys can hear in the background it is raining like there's no tomorrow and it is freezingly cold so i'm like sitting here with my heating pad because it's just like my toes are frozen i need my heating pad 
all the time um so um yeah i just want to show you guys my hair in a different lighting but apparently the weather is not gonna change we're gonna have rain for the next week which does not spark joy if you're being honest i really really miss the sunshine i mean one or two day i like it but more than that absolutely not but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye